Hello, Compass LGBTQ Plus Community Center, and happy Pride. Thank you for inviting me to your 2022 Stonewall Ball. I am Admiral Rachel Levine, the Assistant Secretary for Health at the United States Department of Health and Human Services. This Pride Month and always, I stand with the LGBTQI plus community as a proud, openly transgender woman. Now, I think we need to acknowledge that the past few months have been a difficult time for the LGBTQI plus community. Attacks on the health and well-being of trans youth and trans adults have driven a political wedge into what should be a private, strictly medical conversation. Now, we all need to stand together against bullying and public attacks. When we see that kind of intentional abuse in our communities, it shouldn't matter if we're not specifically the targets. No one deserves that kind of treatment. Certainly not a young person or a teenager who's already more likely to face bullying at school and may have difficulties at home. If someone needs a friend, an ally, or just a supportive person to stand up for them, you can be that person. In fact, LGBTQ youth report significantly lower rates of suicide attempts if they have just one supportive adult in their lives. That's all it may take to save a life, one supportive adult. Now, I want you to know that I will do everything that I can to support you and to advocate for you. Raising awareness is an important step, and I am speaking out publicly against the insidious attacks that we've seen on trans men and women who have done nothing to deserve them. The federal government must work across agencies and departments to then turn awareness into action. Now, one action we can all take is to fully understand and support the value of diversity in improving organizational efficiency and effectiveness. Now, I stand on the shoulders of those who came before me, people we know throughout history and those whose names we may never know because they were forced to live and work in the shadows. As we move forward together, all of us must ensure that no one has to live in the shadows ever again. Now, I would like to highlight the importance of diversity, diversity for a school, a business, a medical center, in government, really for every organization. I strongly feel that diversity, equity, and inclusion in all of their myriad and wonderful aspects should be welcomed and celebrated for the way that they strengthen and enhance any organization. I encourage you all to embrace and emphasize diversity in your current roles. I commend everyone here today for your commitment to equity, to diversity, and to inclusion. Now, I am hopeful for a more inclusive future. We all have a role to play in making that happen. The truth is that we have not made progress unless we have made progress for all. We must strongly advocate for the most underserved and marginalized in our community, including our trans youth and trans women of color. You should be able to live your life here in America, no matter who you are or who you love. Now, I'm a positive and optimistic person, and I'd like to leave you with a message of hope. There is a place for you and for all of us in this great country of ours, and I will do everything that I can to support our LGBTQI plus community. Together, let's stand in solidarity to support and empower each other so we can build that better, healthier future. And always stay connected, stay informed, stay safe.